great to see you. It's nice to see you too. We run into each other kind of a lot, right? I mean, at backstage at things. Yeah. And, and the last time was at the the Paley Center. That was uh, so much fun. That was, and if I forget anybody, fill in the blanks for I, me. Yeah. Okay. okay. Uh, we paid tribute to Norman Lear, Carl Reiner, Bob Newhart. Uh, Carol Lily, Burnett, Lily Tomlin, and Lily Tomlin. It was an extraordinary a room. A great to be in. group of people. I mean, it's yeah. almost like they put there were too many of them there. They should have spaced it out a little bit. Did more. you get to talk to all of them or any of them? I did. I spoke to all of them. Yes. You did. Yeah. See, I, 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 I kind of shy away. That's from because that. I stupidly showed up like two hours early. You did. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> As I'm known to do. Well, I, yeah. I saw Carol. She was the one. I mean, she's my. She's the reason I'm an actress. She's one fantastic. I am so in love with her, and I um, I got to see her backstage. And I remember one time she called me, and I had no. I, I was I was just so flabbergasted, and I couldn't. I was dreaming of all the reasons Carol Burnett sh would be calling me. She's going to ask me to star in a variety sketch show with her. We're going to do a cop, you know, a buddy movie or something. I was imagining. <laughs> And I finally called her back. I waited a day because I just always wanted to be on the verge of calling Carol Burnett back, you know? <laughs> and I, and I, I finally did. And she just, she was recommending a, a dresser for me to use when I went to Broadway with a nine to five. Oh, really? So <laughs> I was like, it's still, I was still glad she called and I used her dresser. <laughs> well, of um, course, you have yeah, to. Yeah, I had to. Yeah. I had to, Laura. Have you ever worked with her on a project? No, but I, I, I know that I'm going to. I you just should. I have a feeling I will because, because I want it so badly. She, yeah. she means everything to me. You will, you know, what you have to do is you have to visualize it. Have yep. you done that? I have to do my vision board. You have to put her on your vision board. Yes, I do. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. I'm going to do that. Have you ever done one of those, really? Of course not. I have not either. <laughs> vision board. We're, we're supposed me? to. I mean, it's supposed to really work. You know, I'll cut out a picture of Carol Burnett, and I'll cut out a picture of me, and, and then I'll cut out a picture of, of uh, I, I don't know what comes next. A I, hammer I, or something I, like hammer. that to represent work, that yeah. you'll be working together, yeah. <laughs> Or you could just call Carol and say, would you be? T would that be too forward? Do you think I could? I, I'm sure you could. She's as nice as people come, yeah, right? Yeah, she really is. I, I bet I could. What's just... your all-time favorite sketch from the Carol Burnett show? Can oh, you think of anything? I, you know, I mean, you know, Mrs. Wiggins uh, is, uh, is, a, is Wiggins. one of my yeah. Mrs. Wiggins. Right, and, yeah. Uh, and you know, of course, the you know the the drapes, the this you know the, from Gone with the Wind. Yes. I yes. mean, all of them, and just her warmth talking to the audience when she would do that in the beginning. I thought that's what I, I just loved that about her that she would talk right, you know, pick someone in the audience and ask questions, take questions from me. Anyone have any questions? The yeah. audience yeah. me and, and well, you know, and um, bring up we, the lights. Let's we bring actually up the lights. met a. Oh no! Oh, that's we right. actually met a woman who. Yes, you did. Now that you mention it, yeah. we met a couple from Chicago you who did? fled the cold weather, and he was a chef for a long time. Yeah. And she just, uh, the, his wife told us that she only cooked one meal in 32 years. What was it? Well, hold on a second. <laughs> because now I feel like you're, this is not how Carol would do it. No. With Carol, yeah. the audience would ask her questions, not the other way around. Right, that's right. That's right. But so do you, you have can... a question for me? Yes. I don't even... It was Coca Van, by the it way. It was. Yes, yes. <laughs> Yes, did you have, you have a, a question, question for Allison? Me? See, anything? now on Carol now Burnett Show, the audience was more prepared. Yeah. <laughs> they knew this might happen. Yeah. Any questions? No, okay. okay, okay. At what age did you start acting? At um, what age sorry? did you start acting? Oh, that's a good, that's a good question. Is it, um, though? Is it? I'm... <laughs> I feel like it's not. I was trying to buy myself some time because I actually have no idea. I think you know. Right well, you just ahead. had a birthday, uh, a big birthday, right? I did, you guys. I just turned 60. Six years old. And... I'm sure people tell you, tell you all the time that you don't look anywhere close to 60 years old. Well, you kind of have to say that. You don't. don't you... you know what? You can oh, tell. No. <laughs> the Carol Burnett show is over now. <laughs> Did you have a big party for your I, birthday? I thought about it. I went, I, I went, I started dreaming about this huge, I was gonna do Studio 60 and do a huge party and have like Shaka Khan. What is form. Studio 60? Well, Studio 54, but I'm 60, so it's oh, Studio 60. Okay, all right. Yeah, just like take go. <laughs> like the old nightclub in New York. Yeah, and I was gonna have like guys in red Speedos on roller skates passing around or doing. Right. Do a whole shebang. And then I saw, you know, the, the price, 
Is that no, glued? No, it's glued okay. down there okay. so nobody <laughs> messes with it. I'm trying to use Those it as a Those are my cards. <laughs> um, I, was, I was looking, I looked at the, the bill, which was, the, it was so astronomical. I, I thought, what am I doing? This is probably, I'm not, probably not even going to remember most of it, uh -huh. because if I have a few martinis, and then I'm like, I'm not going to remember it. I'm going to spend that much money? No. Um, so I went the exact opposite direction and had my parents, my aunt and uncle, just a small family dinner, and, and it's, that was the perfect way to go. And was then it? I told all my friends that we could do extravagant things throughout the year. And one of them, Tate Taylor, my friend who's directed me in um, a, a number of movies, uh, gave me a parcel of land. What? Yes. Why? For my 60th. Where? And in Mississippi, where he grew up in Mississippi, and he gave me a parcel of land. So now you own land in now Mississippi? I, I'm a landowner in Mississippi. How much land did he give you? I'm not sure. I can't remember. Isn't that crazy? I don't remember. It was. I think it was a significant amount of land. Will you ever visit the land? I've got a bit. I mean, I was thinking... <laughs> Your friends are giving you their unwanted real estate. <laughs> All right. In the next decade, you need to get better friends is really no, what... I'm going to build a house on it. You I mean, are? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to think about it. I've never, yeah. you know. Yeah. You'll, never, uh, you'll never even, you'll never come near that land. Come on. No, no, it's, it's beautiful down there. It really is. I'm sure it is. And um, yet you'll never see it. Well, maybe I'll. <laughs> maybe I'll Alice put a Taco Bell there. It's <laughs> here. Her new movie's called Troop Zero. We'll be right back with <laughs> Alice and Africa. So, there's something special happening this year. An opportunity for all of us to be a part of science. Hi, hi, everybody. This is Dr. Prasad. Prasad, all the way from NASA. Hello, hello. Raise your hands if you like to think about outer space. <laughs> the girls. That's Allison Jay in Troop Zero, which is uh, starting on Friday on Amazon Prime. Uh, many, some of your friends are in this movie, people you've worked with before. Yeah, Viola Davis and I did the help together. Uh -huh. uh, Jim Gaffigan and I did uh, Away We Go together. One of the funniest guys. One of so funny. And McKenna Grace, of course, played young Tanya in I, Tanya. So uh, it was, uh, That's fun. It was nice to be with them all together again. Is it more fun when you get to do an accent like that? Oh, it's so great. Is it? Yeah. Once you get it, I mean, it's like... I, my father would describe it as a, it's like an ice cube, and then when you get it, it just it melts through you, and it's the most fantastic thing to own an accent. To just be, it drives my friends and family crazy because I have to talk in all the time, you know. Oh, you do, yeah. Oh, you have to <laughs> to really make it yours. And um, uh, but I, I love it. I love Is it. there an accent that you've tried and you just decided, no, I cannot do this? I had, you know, once I had to, I tried to do an Australian accent. No, no, New Zealand. Sorry, New Zealand. And uh -huh. that was very hard. I did not successfully melt that ice cube. <laughs> <laughs> How do you know it wasn't successful? Did you hear from the people of New Zealand? Well, the, <laughs> the, the playwright was a play, uh, and, and the playwright was New Zealand, and she was like, Alison, you, you know, she just was Forget constantly it. giving me notes, and, and I didn't. I, I couldn't do it. But I, I did, if I had more time, and if they paid me more money, I probably would. You know, <laughs> It's interesting, there are a few television shows that are now on Netflix and str various streaming services. Yeah. And one of them is, well, Friends and The Office have become popular all over again with a new yeah. generation. Yeah. And West Wing is another oh, yeah. one that has become a West Wing on Netflix. And are you now all of a sudden hearing about this all of the time from people? Um, you, yeah, I mean, people ask all the time, are you guys going to do a, a reunion ah, show? Yes. Or, you are know? you going to do a reunion? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you, you recently saw Aaron. You should have asked him. Aaron Sorkin <laughs> decides whether or not you would do a show. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But it would be hard for him to figure out how to use the original characters. I think so, too. I don't think it's going to happen. Because, like, Martin Sheen sense. could maybe be, like, president of his, like, retirement community or something, <laughs> but he's not the president on the show anymore. No, I yeah. don't think it will happen, but it's nice to think about it. And I think everybody wants to think about it now because, you know, it was a, a Camelot administration on the West Wing. It yeah. Was a, it, was a, it was the way you, you hope that people in government... And you're you know, saying the one now isn't? It, I'm, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I'm going to have to disagree with you on that. But. <laughs> well, it's great to see you. It's good the to movie see you is too. called Troop Zero. It's on Amazon Prime starting Friday. Allison Jenny, everybody, we'll be right back with Ilana Glazer.
I am Jimmy Kimmel. Give back this holiday season by my new book, The Serious Goose. I wrote it and illustrated it. All the money I make goes to children's hospitals across the country. So um, you know what to do.